Have you ever been playing Skyblock recently and seeing that everyone has full superior armor? Currently, superior armor is one of, if not the best, multi-purpose set in the game, with the full set giving a 5% increase to all stats, and the effects of the armor itself are just really, really good for late like, game. But how did they get there? When you start off, you get an island, and you're given the choice of three paths, foraging, mining, and farming. Most people choose mining and go to the deep caverns, which is a good strategy. Get the lapis set, it's good for the beginning. But how do you build up to farming zealots and selling guys for almost 600,000 coins, or fighting dragons for some of the best gear in the game? Now, I'm not the best player ever, I'm far from it actually, but something I've always been good at in video games is starting from the beginning. Today, I'll show you how you can start two-shotting zealots in just about a week and a half. The first thing that you want to do is get to the spider's end, and chances are if you went mining first, you have already met the required combat level for it. Head over there and look for the mini ravines. In those, they have gravel. Go down there and mine about 200 of it. You only need 50 to unlock the recipe for the gravel minion, but you are going to want more than one. Next, make two or three minions and give them flint shovels. These are minion upgrades that are unlocked at gravel 2, which is only 100 gravel slash flint collected and just let them do their thing. But of course, level 1 won't cut it, so use some money and buy 1,984 gravel. This may seem like a lot, but it's only around 3,000 coins at the bazaar. Pretty cheap. This will be enough to get your minions to tier 4, so you're just going to let them do their work, and they'll fill up in roughly 2.5 hours, and yes, I did do the math. You can do other things while you're waiting for that, such as uh, go do some mining, foraging, farming, and just check back every two and a half hours. In about one to two days, you should unlock the first strike three recipe. This is going to be a big money maker, as you can make two of those, combine them in an anvil for first strike four, and auction the book. And typically, you'll get twenty to forty thousand coins, and sometimes fifty thousand and even a hundred thousand coins. And that, that's a lot of coins for just how low effort it is. It, it, it's pretty big. With the money that you're earning from these first strike books, you should be getting some more gravel and making a few more gravel minions, maybe four or five to maximize your output of books. Or you can make a couple more if you want. These will gradually increase your money, and in a few days, you should have about 300,000 coins. Maybe more, maybe less, but around that area. You're going to use that money to buy a cheap aspect of the end, whether it be clean or have a few enchantments on it. But make sure it doesn't have Smite or Bane of Arthropods, because with those, you can't have Sharpness. And Sharpness is going to be important for this. The enchantments that are most important on this sword to get are Critical 5, which you can get on the Auction House for relatively cheap, maybe 10, 20,000 coins. Sharpness 5 and First Strike 4, which you can craft yourself because of the Gravel Collection. Ender Slayer 5, which can be somewhat cheap, maybe a little expensive. And Giant Killer 5 which is also relatively cheap. You can use your enchanting table, but I wouldn't recommend it. Once you have those enchantments, start working to get your combat level up if it's not high enough to go to the end, and while you wait, while you wait for your minions. These minions will keep getting you first strike four books and will keep making you coins. Wait a few more days and you should start trying to place bids on Ender Armor. These pieces can go from around 75,000 to 125,000 coins depending on the enchantments. Make sure to get the full set, and if you can, try and buy them with Growth 5 and Prot 5. But if you can't, just enchant them yourself. It won't take too much grinding. You can also buy the Prot 5 books for cheap as well on the auction house, because you're probably going. To, if you're going to enchant them, you're going to be enchanting them with Growth. After getting your armor, go to the blacksmith and get Godly on all the armor. This may be expensive depending on your luck, but it will give you a lot of crit damage, crit chance, and strength, all of which are going to be helpful for dealing the maximum amount of damage. Get the spicy reforge on your aspect of the end, and you're almost done. The last thing to do is get talismans. You can buy a few cheap ones from the adventurer, such as the zombie talisman and the skeleton talisman, both going for 500 coins, and you can also get some cheap ones on the auction house, such as the feather talisman and speed talisman. You can also get one from the park. Go to the Dark Oak area and head to the right, if you're looking from the entrance to the park. 
and do the trial of fire as much as you can for a talisman. Also, I almost forgot to say this. Watch Time Dio's videos, I have the link in the description, and get all the fairy souls that you can, and use them to extort Tia the fairy for those sweet, juicy stats. And lastly, try and get an Enderman pet from the auction house, if you can. Get an epic. But if that's a bit out of your price range, get a rare. And now you're ready to go to the Dragon's Nest. You should hopefully have about 10 talismans, uh, maybe 15, and make sure they're all reforged with Itchy, because those will give you strength, crit damage, and attack speed. Attack speed isn't as important, but crit damage is nice. Oh, oh my god, I cannot believe I forgot this. You need to make critical potions, which are gravel 8 to brew them. If only you had a high gravel collection so you didn't have to always buy them. But you can go to the bazaar, buy enchanted glowstone for cheap, like, I mean really cheap, less than a thousand coins. Buy enchanted redstone dust for cheap as well, again, less than a thousand coins. Seriously, make potions, they're cheap and they're amazing. And start brewing three at a time, and I'm hoping you're doing that, because if not, it's just a waste. These potions should last a decent amount of time, around 15 minutes, and they'll give you 20% higher chance of a critical attack, and 30% more critical damage. Now you can start doing 6, maybe even 7,000 on a crit. Currently, I do roughly 9,000 damage on a crit, just barely 9,000, but that's with wise dragon armor. And with the ender armor set bonus, the ender armor might even give higher crit damage, so get out there and start grinding for some eyes. And get that money. If you like this guide, please leave a like, and while you're down there, hit the subscribe button and if you haven't already. Hit the bell icon thingy to never miss a video, and check out my Twitter, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!